Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be making some Italian um, stuffed bell peppers. I got the recipe from Olga's Flavor Factory. I will leave the link down below um, to her website where you can find the recipe. Um, so I'm just going to go through all the ingredients and then I'll show you how I make them. So the recipe calls for four um, large bell peppers. It says red, yellow, orange. I have a yellow, um, two red, and I have a green one. It's from my garden, so we'll use that. And then it calls for um, one pound of um, Italian sausage. Um, on her recipe, she says she prefers mild. I actually like the hot one. It gives it a little bit of kick, and I like a little bit of spicy, but it doesn't come out too spicy. And then um, you need three-fourths cup of cooked rice, so I'm going to go ahead and um, cook that. And then you need one large onion. I will go ahead and chop this after. Um, one slice of bread, a fourth cup of milk. Um, sorry, I'm looking down. I'm looking at the list. Then three-fourths cup of Monterey Jack shredded cheese. And then you um, need a fourth cup of Parmesan cheese shredded as well. Um, salt and pepper, crushed, um, crushed red pepper, and one small zucchini, and this will get chopped up as well. So if you'd like to see how I make those, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I have the rice cooking in the rice cooker, and I'm just going to go ahead and start off by um, cutting up these peppers. So you're going to cut off the tops, take out the seeds, and then the remaining part of the top, you obviously take out this green part, um, we're going to chop up and we're going to mix that in with some of the other ingredients. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, clean these out. peppers are all nice and clean and cut out. I'm going to go ahead and these are the tops that were left over. Uh, we're going to chop these up into small, small little pieces and uh, save them for later. the leftover peppers are chopped up, we are going to chop up our onions. So now we're going to saute our chopped onions with a little bit of salt and some crushed red pepper. And we're just going to pour a little bit of um, olive oil on the pan, about one, one tablespoon, I would say. So we're going to let that heat up, and then we'll add the onions and the salt and the crushed red pepper. And you're going to want to saute this for about five minutes until the onions are nice and yellow and soft. Ok, 
Okay, so now that my onions are nice and yellow, I'm going to add in these chopped up um, pepper tops that we chopped up. I'm going to add in the garlic. The recipe calls for tomato paste. I don't have any, so I'm just going to add in just a little bit of ketchup. Just a little bit. Nice and colorful. We're going to add in a little bit of more salt and pepper. And we're going to saute this for about another uh, three minutes just to let all the flavors go together and soften up the, um, the peppers a little bit. Okay, so now that these have been sauteing for about three minutes, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the stove, and I'm gonna put them to the side and let them cool off a little bit. So while the onion and pepper mixture is cooling off, um, I went ahead and took out my rice from the rice cooker, put it in a bowl so it'll cool off a little bit faster, and we're gonna chop up this zucchini. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our piece of bread into the bowl and we're gonna take um, the milk and just pour it right over the bread so that it becomes nice and soft. Let it soak in there for a little bit. So that's what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and just mash up the bread with the fork. I'm actually going to use two forks in my video. So now that that's all mashed up, we're just gonna go ahead and start adding all our ingredients. So I have the chopped up zucchini. We're gonna add in our rice. Then we're gonna add in our um, onion and pepper mixture. We're gonna add in our cheese. And then our Parmesan cheese that's shredded. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the sausage. And then a little bit more salt and pepper. And just mix everything together until it's nice and well combined. Now that everything is nice and well combined, we are going to stuff the peppers and put them in the pot. And you just wanna put about one third cup of water in the bottom and then go ahead and put the peppers in. Okay, so I do have some left over, which I usually do, and what I'll do is I'll just put it in a bag, a Ziploc bag, and I will freeze it, and then this way sometimes if I'm in a rush or I need to make something quick, I'll just take it out of the freezer, defrost it, and I'll just stuff like two peppers. It's perfect for my husband and I. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the crock pot. Okay, now these are in the crock pot, I'm gonna cover them, and I'm gonna set it on low to cook for about four to six hours, and I will show you the finished results. So this is the finished product. I just cut the pepper in half, added a little bit more cheese on top and some parsley, and that's some sour cream to go on the side, and they were delicious.